Hello, I'm George Bell, and I'm going to show you how to reassemble my uh, trapdoor octahedron puzzle. As it says on the uh, label, it's easy to take apart, but hard to get back together. And I should mention that there are two sizes of this puzzle. This is the larger size, and it also comes in small version. But I'm going to demonstrate on this large one. This is a little easier to see. Um, so the first thing to do is to notice that the three pieces are all different, but one of them is smaller than the others, and it's this purple piece. There's also a point of mirror or uh, rotational symmetry about that point, where if you spin it 180 degrees, it's unchanged. So we're going to take this small piece and we're going to set it aside for a second, and then we have to figure out how these two guys slide together and. Uh, I believe this is the orientation we want. And I will, what, these two pieces are not identical. Uh, and one of them has a little foot that is convenient for setting it on, so you don't have to hold on to it. Um, so they're going to be sliding together like this. And one thing to notice is that there are two points right here and another one down here that have to be perfectly aligned as these things slide together as what we do is we place them in this position and then the third piece goes on top and you have to kind of move the pieces around and hunt for the place where they will engage let's see don't have that quite right now. So here we go. There it is. And you can feel this point when all of a sudden they are sliding together in chord immersion. And boom, they're together. And while I have the puzzle together, I'll show you how you can play with it like a fidget toy. You uh, find the two faces with triangles on them and you take one hand and push those two triangles together and with your other hand you can keep it from falling up all the way apart and so basically I have a fidget toy um, but anyway I hope that helps uh, you get it back together